afternoon, everyone. I am Eduardo. Today's guest is Miss Keiko Saito. Keiko is a former cheerleader of the Amer of American football team, the San Francisco 49ers, and now she's the president of the Professional Cheerleading Association Japan. She teaches cheerleading and also Pilates fitness exercise. Thank you for coming today. Oh, thank you so much. Um, I'm so happy to see you. You were a cheerleader in one of the most famous American football teams, the San Francisco 49ers. Competition to join its cheerleader team must be tough, even for Americans. But you are Japanese and you managed to join them. When do you start having such a dream? Actually, it's a long story. Um, when I was in high school, um, I was in Sacramento, which is the capital city in California. Yes. And uh, I stayed for a month uh, for some vacation. And my host family took me to the 49ers preseason game. And I saw the 49ers cheerleader there. Then, um, like my image of cheerleader, uh, like like just short skirt and teenager <laughs> and like really acrobatic. Yeah. But they're they were different from my image. Like they have their like big smile, like gorgeous blonde hair and curvy <laughs> body, and yeah. Um, and also their dance technique was really great. And I uh, I have danced since seven years old. So I could tell their dance technique is really good. So like I was like, oh, I want to be a cheerleader. <laughs> what did I cheerleader? And I went back to Japan after the summer vacation. But uh, our high school didn't have cheerleading team. Oh. So once I got, once I got in the the college, mm -hmm. I went to the practice of our cheerleading team of the college and but their style style yeah the performance style is not same as 49ers like they're more acrobatic and strong and then well, maybe Japan doesn't have such kind of style cheerleading and I just give up but um, when I was like 26 years old um, I thought about my work like I worked in a IT company, but um, the co-workers are nice, and I got used to my work. Um, but I didn't think I could uh, stay in that job forever, and I really thought uh, what I want to do. And I remembered I wanted to be a cheerleader, and okay, let's try. And also, I broke out my, with my boyfriend uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> it also pushed push me really hard to change your life yeah. so how do you learn cheerleading did you learn in university or before that or after you went to America uh, no, actually um, I started cheerleading at age 26 so really late <laughs> but I I have danced since uh, I was little so I have Dance basic. I had dance basic, and I started with the um, American American football American football cheerleading team first in, in, in Japan. Japan. Yeah, in okay. Japan. And the captain taught me everything, like the arm motions and like showmanship or teamwork. Yeah. Uh -huh. and in NFL Japan. Uh, they held the NFL cheerleaders audition, audition in Japan, and they chose four girls from the audition, mm -hmm. and they brought four girls to the final audition of 49ers, and luckily I was selected oh. <laughs> as a final. So those four girls, they uh -huh. had to go to San Francisco for yes. the last audition. Uh -huh. How, How did you improve your English? I couldn't... Um, I couldn't communicate with my teammates because I was afraid uh, of my mistake. So I didn't say out anything. Uh, I didn't. I couldn't talk to them, and and they they thought I didn't think or feel anything. 
Oh. Yeah, so when they chat, I couldn't join. Like, uh, they chat like I don't exist there. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't I didn't know it's American culture. If you don't say anything, and it means you don't feel or you don't think anything. So or, yeah, or you're, to... you are not interested, so mm -hmm. it's okay to be yeah. in a different place mm -hmm. than they are. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, I... I needed to say something, but I was so much afraid of mistake. <laughs> so uh -huh. I, I just became really quiet. So uh, at first I didn't have friends. So my roommate, um, my roommate's co-worker, he wanted to learn Japanese because he uh, went to Japan for business trip uh, sometimes. So he wanted to learn Japanese, and he's a, a native speaker. And I wanted to learn English, English from native speaker. So like we're matched. <laughs> okay, let's be a language exchange partner, and we met once in a week. Uh, actually, I wrote journal journal like uh, diary oh. every day, and he fixed the sentences, and it, it worked because um, it's. Like he fixed the words, or I looked up the dictionary and find out the words what I want to say. And, uh, we need, we have, we have to talk with uh, or chat with the fans, 49ers fans. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, if you can speak perfect English, it's much easier. But I, I can't, right? <laughs> I couldn't speak English well, so I just told them like, oh. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't speak English so well because I came from Japan to be a 49 cheerleader. And like, then, then fans understand, understood me. Like, wow, you came from, from Japan. Japan. Wow. More interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they're fans, so they're so happy. Like, you came from all the, uh, you came all the way from Japan. <laughs> wow. Then they really accepted me. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah, so they don't care whether my English is not perfect. So now, I would like to know what you're doing now. Could you okay. Um, right now, I started up a cheerleading organization with my uh, previous team, cheerleading teammates uh, in Japan. In Japan? And uh, we, we're directing three pro basketball cheerleading teams. And uh, we hold <laughs> Uh, cheerleading classes, uh -huh. and also we have our own cheerleading team, and they uh, performed at the various events and popularized the pro style cheerleading and share up the society. For the cheerleading, the most important thing is the part we call cheer spirit. Cheer like, spirit, yes, yeah. yeah, like cheering up the people and make people happy and. Uh, like the teamwork and yeah. And now I know you are also teaching Pilates. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us more about Pilates? Why do you start Pilates? Um, I studied Pilates because I injured my hip uh, when I cheered 49ers and I saw the article um, like the many athletes use Pilates to, um, to recover re yeah recover or prevent, prevent. the injury so then oh okay maybe I should try because that um, hip injury I I did many times and I kind of realized maybe my movement is not good or something uh -huh. wrong with my pelvis yeah so so yeah, maybe then. Yeah, maybe I should try Pilates, and I started to go to the Pilates studio, and it was really good. I felt really good after the class. Mm, great. Not, not only the body, also my mind, like all refreshed. You know, <laughs> the, most of the exercise um, after the workout, you get a lot of sweat and oh, so tired. Yeah, so tired. <laughs> yeah. You just want to shower yeah, and go yeah, to yeah. sleep. Yeah, yeah, But actually, Pilates is different. Like. Your body get warmer from inside from your inside from their body, and uh, how do you say you, you really you can really refresh like um, 
it's, it's very also relaxed. Relaxing. Yeah, yeah, relaxing too. Uh, I really started to like Pilates, and after the 49ers um, season, I went to Las Vegas to get the certification of Pilates. Oh, so you are a professional certified Pilates teacher now. Yes, so I can teach you. Finally, could you send a message to the Japanese young people who want to study abroad or to live abroad? I think uh, once you move to move to the uh, foreign country, uh, the beginning is really tough to live there, um, and the, the language is the biggest problem, I think. Yes. Um, but I think the language is not only the tool to communicate with the people. So, um, so like. What I did in 49ers, I couldn't speak English much, but I showed my passion, like, I want to talk with you, uh, I want to stay with you, or I love the team, with my action. Like, I went to the practice the earliest, like one hour before the wow. practice. <laughs> then every practice, I went to the earliest, so even though I don't, I don't speak English, everyone noticed, right? Yeah, everyone noticed your hard yeah. work. Yeah, yeah, and also like, oh, Keiko, she should be, she should like the team. And also I memorized all the choreography perfectly. So, <laughs> <laughs> so like a few months later, like all the teammates asked me like, oh, Keiko knows all the choreography, so let's ask her. And like uh, the, my teammates started to depend on me little by little. Well. Thank you for coming here today and sharing your interesting experience. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much. Mm.